Are you tired of wasting your precious sewing time untangling bobbins? Do you struggle finding where you put that spool of thread? Do you wish there was a way to organize your bobbins and spools? Introducing the thread holder. But wait. Are you the sort of person who takes offense at the advice to just go buy one? They're like $20. Does spending a whole weekend making something from things you might already have sound like a dream come true? If that's you, stay tuned for this tutorial so you too can DIY your own thread holder. We start the project off by washing off a dusty length of butcher block that was hanging out in the barn. Then the board is left to dry. Since it was late summer when I filmed this, I simply left it outside on the deck. My husband then whisked it away and cut it down to 10 inches by the full width of 21 inches. I was busy, aka taking a nap, and didn't even hear him run the saw, so there's no footage of this step. Next, I laid it out on some cardboard in the front yard and sprayed it with an off-white chalk paint left over from upcycling a $5 garage sale potato bin into yarn storage. And then again, I left it out to dry. Then I spent far too much time measuring, marking, and erasing the spacing for the nails. This happened many, many times before settling on to the right spacing. This ended up being four rows spaced two inches apart and one and a half inches between the nails. I opted to only do half for now and I can add more as my thread collection expands. And I nearly got footage of the pilot holes being drilled and the nails going in until a certain little person decided that I was needed elsewhere immediately. And here it is, my basically free thread holder. The nails hold a bobbin and its matching spool of cotton thread. Along the top are polyester or poly blend threads. Overall, I'm very pleased with how it turned out and I would happily do it again. 